So back in December we carried out our annual employee engagement health check and this is one of the ways that you can have your say and make sure that your voice is heard. Um, now we used the same questions as we'd done on the previous year and the reason for that was so that we could start to see whether we'd made some improvements, where things have got worse and, and where we need to focus our attention. So thank you to the 138 of you who took part, that really is appreciated. And what you'll be able to find from today on the People Development, Engagement and Wellbeing pages of the intranet are the results from this, uh, this year's survey. But what you'll also be able to see is how they compare with the results from 2015. Overall, you'll see that we've, uh, we have improved, which is really, really reassuring and encouraging. And what you'll also be able to see there is some of the reasons why we think we've improved. So if you think about some of the things that we've done, um, think about some of the internal communications channels, so the executive top five, that gives you an insight into some of the bigger things that are happening. We've also got the blog, which is written by the senior management team. And we recently changed that so that it was more reflective of what's happening on an ongoing basis throughout the operational year. So the documentation that you'll find on the pages will give you an insight into some more of those interventions. Another thing that we did this year, and this was, this was different from the year before, was we asked you to score the executive and the senior management team on how well you think they role model the value-driven behaviours. And that again was, was really insightful and great feedback for, for both teams because they are absolutely committed to, to role modelling those behaviours and, and they are thoroughly invested in them. So what's going to happen now as a result of that, both teams have seen their scores and they are both committed to pulling together an action plan that will demonstrate how they will further improve their performance against those. Of course, there are still some areas where we need to improve on and you'll be given the opportunity um, to provide some more information for us on the areas where you've maybe disagreed or strongly disagreed. So, Watch this space, there'll be more opportunities to get involved. To finish off, a really big thank you from me to all of you who, who took the time to share your views because what you feed back to us indicates where we need to focus our attention in the coming year. So thank you.